I'm doing a video on how to make your HTC One into a Google Edition HTC One. Right now, I'm doing all uh, all the flushing and everything. If y'all want me to make a video on how to, let me know in the comments below. But I'll leave a link to a video to the person who did the video that I followed in order to get mine going. Hopefully it's going through now. It's making my HTC One from AT&T into a stock Google edition HTC One with OTA updates and all that. You can see right there it's working fine it's going through took me a while took me a couple of days to uh, get all the files right and put them in the right place but we'll see what happens Said is that it was finished. Finished total time about a hundred eighty one seconds. And uh, I don't know what that means. Hopefully, it means it's all done. So let's just reboot. See what happens. It says Google. Let's put it up like the Google edition. Fingers crossed. They kept telling me to get rid of HTC Sync because it'll mess up the process, but I just kept closing it. Everything went fine. If you want to see the process right here? This was the process. All of this, the commands I put in are right here. But I'll leave a video to the link. I mean, I'll leave a link to the video on how to get this done. And here we go, right here. It says welcome. Skip. Oh, we're signing into a network, why not? Sign into Google. This is recorded in 4K, by the way, on the Galaxy Note 3. Signing me in. Yeah, why not restore? Just to everything Google. As you can see, this is the AT&T version. See, finish. There's our first page. Let's see what we're running. We're running 4.2.2. Jelly Bean. Let's see if there's an update. Should be an update. 